guys. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm uh, going to be changing the oil on this uh, 2013 Arctic Cat 700 HDX. Um, I'm putting Mobile One full synthetic into it and then we are uh, after that I've got a, a four wheeler to change the oil on and uh, on that specific four wheeler it's been like I guess eight years since it's been changed so, so I have uh, already gotten into the oil change process I had to let my GoPro charge up while I was doing this but uh, I've got the Arctic Cat here disassembled to where I can pull this plastic piece up over there and get to the oil filter on the front of the engine. That's about the only way I can get to it. And uh, the uh, pulled the drain plug out and it had this. Uh, I figured it was metal, but and it may have metal in it, but it's just like a little sludge, almost like grease, stuck to the drain plug. It's just like a grease filling, which it it had been a while since I changed the oil in this. I use it. I had been using it quite a lot, quite frequently, and the oil is fairly thin in this, um, but I use this mostly, you know, for farm during most of the year, and then I will take it and uh, go hunting with it uh, during deer season. But uh, I'm going to go in through here and uh, have to reach my arm down and grab the uh, oil filter on the front and twist it off. And I just bought a cheaper Fram oil filter here that uh, fits it. And it's been a while since the last service, so I figured I, and I wanted to step up to uh, a mobile one and uh, see how that does in it. Um, I've got the funnel down in there to pour the oil, and uh, I'm going to pour it, and then we'll start it up and let it run and check the oil level and see. Uh, supposed to take like 2.85 quarts and I bought three so it'll take probably all of the two and you know 80 percent 85 percent of the, the third one so uh, so I'm gonna put the oil in and fire it up so I, I ran it for probably two or three minutes and then uh, let it sit for a minute or a minute and a half and check the full level uh, right down here and uh, seems to be doing good I'll uh, probably after I run it real good uh, take it out run around and bring it back and let it set for a while I'll check it again just to make sure but I just done a quick check after it's set for a little while and it looks like it's in in the full range but like I said after I run it a little bit and uh, get everything circulating for a while and then bring it back and uh, I'll let it set and cool off and let all the oil drain down and I will uh, check it again uh, and also the, the air, air filter is right here just got you know four clips to take off and I'm going to check that as well, and uh, I'm going to put this thing back together and take it and switch it out for uh, 
my four wheeler or ATV or whatever you want to call it. The uh, old so I've uh, got the art cat finished up and now I'm going to uh, do an oil change in this Suzuki Benson 500 four wheel drive. It's automatic. Uh, it's a 2005 model and it has not had oil change since 2009 so it just uh, right in there is the I don't know if you can tell from here but the oil filters in there back behind that exhaust pipe uh, this one should be a fairly simple service unlike the other one where I had to disassemble the, the whole seat and everything underneath it. Uh, it's got plenty of coolant. Um, but I'm going to do an oil change because I've been running it more recently. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be putting this uh, Valvoline 10W40 full synthetic in it. Um, it's got 4,816 miles and 731 hours on it, uh, which has mostly been put on it since the last day, and, uh, but I decided to try the Valvoline, it was a little cheaper, and uh, put a full synthetic oil in this, see if it lasts a pretty good while. And on that, I've got everything wrote down here, but, and on that Arctic Cat, it takes 2.11 quarts uh, instead of the 2.85. This here takes the 2.85 quarts, but I, I guess in the Arctic Cat, I ended up putting about two and a half uh, until it was actually up to full once I changed the filter and everything else. And uh, we're going to get started on this one. And hopefully I won't have to take too much apart. I don't think I will, but uh, we'll see. To get off their darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should go I had a little trouble getting the uh, oil filter off Because it had been on there so long And uh, I had to get me a good tool to get it off because I didn't have a oil filter wrench handy and uh, I finally got it loosened up enough to get it off and uh, here is the oil that came out of it it's pretty much I mean there there's still some lubrication to it but it was foamy when it come out <clears throat> and it it's actually pretty good condition I guess for eight years <clears throat> but uh, it's still a little thin for I guess what you want to be running and <clears throat> I do recommend <coughs> that you wash the uh, <clears throat> wash the vehicle off before you uh, before working on it I mean not as bad on this one but on the other one <clears throat> there was dirt piled up underneath the engine on top of the engine compartment so when I cleaned the air filter out I kept having to 
keep dirt out of the box and same thing for when I was adding oil dirt kept wanting to fall into the funnel and I kept having to stop and get the dirt out before it went down in the engine so that, I probably would have done it but it's uh, pouring the rain and I didn't so I didn't have time to wash the engine compartment off real good on both of these uh, ATVs UTVs whatever uh, or I would have if I'd had more time to do it but I've uh, I'm also putting a, a Fram oil filter on this one uh, this vehicle here it's you know it's over 10 years old it's a 2005 model and uh, like I said I'm going with the Valvoline the full synthetic on this one um, it was cheaper I think it was like $5.99 a quart versus the mobile one was like $10.99 uh, this vehicle here you know it, it doesn't have a warranty either and as the way I look at it it's already put in its work I mean it's we've already got our money's worth out of it so I just want to keep good oil in it and keep a filter and not spend more than it's worth but I want to keep it running in good shape but I'm going to put the drain plug back in and put a new filter on then I'm going to add the oil and uh, fire it up and see that everything's okay and check the oil level so I am uh, I'm done with this one I put the oil filter and everything back on the new one uh, I put this Valvoline 10W40 full synthetic in it. I put, I started out putting two and a half quarts in it, and uh, it would have probably done fine, but it was a little lower on the stick than I felt comfortable with, and plus a. Uh, I don't know 100% sure if this, uh, if it actually burns any oil, but uh, I also, I don't think I have it here, but I'm going to run some, uh, I'm going to run some stuff through the fuel to help clean out the carburetor, and uh, I need to do a, a fuel filter change sometime, but I don't have that today. Um, but at least the main part is is taking care of the the motor and all that stuff, and it's it's done fairly well, you know, to be this old and not have had regular oil changes and stuff it's uh, it's held up really good I haven't so far I haven't had any any problems as far as the engine goes or you know the automatic the transmission and stuff in here uh, I was gonna do them all in the AMS oil that's what I have in my truck and uh, They needed to be done fairly quick. Uh, fall is approaching. It's going to start getting colder. Uh, you know, I'm going to be using them haul wood and deer season. You know, is in less than a month, so I wanted to hurry up and get it changed. So I didn't. I didn't go with the Amsoil this time. I just went with a good synthetic oil. But don't forget to like this video uh, just wanted to kindly show you a little bit about servicing these things if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch more of these videos and the other things whether it's fishing or trucks or whatever uh, just subscribe and so you'll be able to stay tuned and watch them but uh, Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.